Hey, I'm Danielle Robey for the Red Carpet Report, and tonight we are honoring and empowering women for the National Women's History Museum event in Beverly Hills. Rebecca, we're at an event tonight, in, uh, empowering women, talking about women. Who's been influential in your life? Many, many, many women, many teachers, many friends. I have an extended family of sisters that I've learned a great deal from in my life, and not the least of which is my mother, Sally Wasaki. <laughs> If you could go back and tell your 20-year-old self something, what would you say? Oh, don't lose your fearlessness. And, um, yeah, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, and help other women. The older I get, the more I, I'm, I'm amazed and humbled and I'm really encouraged by how many uh, cheerleaders in my life are, are other women. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm, I'm going to play a rapid-fire question game with you. Oh, it's going to be really fun, I promise. Okay. <laughs> okay, the best thing about being a redhead. Oh, geez, the best thing. I don't know. People, defying people's expectations. Oh, okay. Yeah. How about, <laughs> how about the best part about playing a villain? I love playing a villain, and I love this villain because she has a broken heart of gold. Because she's not just bad. No one's just bad, and no one believes that they're bad. Well, maybe some people do, but she, she thinks she's doing all the right things with all the wrong tools, and it's, I think, kind of heartbreaking and ridiculous and funny sometimes and scary, too. If you had an anthem for your life, what would your theme song be? Oh, geez, that one is, that's not fun. That's not a fun question. Okay, no. we'll skip that. I an anthem, I have one song, I can't, I can't. I what was the first CD you ever bought? Um, I remember, Donna Summer is popping into my mind. I okay. think that might have been the first album I bought with my very own money. That's a big deal. It's a pretty, it's a good album. Yeah. Okay, and any secrets about Devious Maids? There might be a little bit of love for Evelyn Powell next no year. No way. Uh, wait, you find it hard to believe? Yeah. Really? I, I don't think she'll be happy for very long, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wonderful. Thank you so much. Such a pleasure to meet you. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, click like. For more, subscribe. And leave me a comment below and let me know who the most influential woman in your life is. Mine is definitely my mother. So, Mom, thanks for everything.